Hi, I'm Michael Worcester. I'm an attorney here at Zen Corn Wright and Saladin in Crystal Lake. And today we're going to talk about what a GAL, or what is otherwise known as a guardian ad litem, is and what their role can be in your case. And a GAL is 99% of the times it's a, an attorney who has at least five years of experience in custodial issues, parental decision making issues uh, between parties regarding the children. And so one side, or the court, um, on their own, can petition or, and appoint a GAL. And this is always whenever there's an issue, again, regarding parental decision-making and parenting time. It's not going to be involved in any financial issues. It's not going to be involved if there's no kids present. Um, it's really only going, they're only going to appoint a GAL so that you can help determine what parents should be able to do for parental decision making parenting time. And by that, what I mean is, GAL is supposed to be the eyes and the ears of the court. They're supposed to be an objective third party who, because they have experience and knowledge of the law, can go in and observe each party. So, say mom is saying dad's an unfit parent, uh, well, maybe dad files a petition to have a, a GAL appointed, or mom does as well. The GAL can go to both mom's house and dad's house, observe both the parents with the child there, see how the child and the parent interact. We'll look around the residence of each party, make sure you know there's nothing dangerous, it's kept clean, it's suitable to have an actual child there. Um, if it's, you know, there's black mold growing, it hasn't been cleaned in months, obviously it's a, a health risk for the child, the guardian ad litem is going to put that in the report and make a point of it. If, if dad seems uninterested while the child's there, the child seems scared, or they can openly talk in front of the dad, but when you go to mom's house, you can tell the child doesn't want to speak about dad because he knows mom might get mad, or you know you have other witnesses that the jail can talk to as well. Teachers, extracurricular, extracurricular uh, activity leaders, so maybe a football coach, a karate uh, teacher. Other people who interact with the kids and can see the parents interacting with the children, they can say, no, Dad comes to every school event. Dad picks up his child on time. Or no, mom's actually a really caring uh, mother. She is always here at every activity. We've spoken plenty of times about how you know the, our, their child is doing, and she would be a very fit parent in my mind. And the GAL can look at communications between the parties, and not only, and speak to witnesses that I've already described, and they put it in report. And that report will be given to both parties, and then normally to the uh, court, unless there's some objection, and that that is to give the court an objective point of view as to what is happening in the case. Because, as we all know, there's always two sides to a story, and both parties are going to allege things that aren't always necessarily true. So, instead of focusing on just what plaintiff and defendant have told the court, the court can go to this attorney who, again, knows the law, has been able to interview the parties, the children other witnesses, look at communications between the parties, and give this recommendation to the court that yes, only one party should have parental decision making, or the parenting time should be set at this. And it's not set, it's not as if the court has to accept that recommendation, but they do carry a lot of weight. If you think it's completely unfair and unbiased, you can challenge the GAL's report by trying to cross-examine the GAL, bringing out different facts. It is very hard to do though. Um, so a GL can play a very important role in a case. You have to know though it also does add a lot of extra expense. It's, a, it's an attorney. They bill at attorney rates. So you have to be prepared to pay for a GL to be involved. But sometimes it can be the difference between one party making bald allegations that's hard to prove or disprove um, and you having really no way to overturn those allegations versus having somebody who might come and go, no, that's, that's completely inaccurate or I have found nothing to support those allegations in my investigation and based on what I've seen I do believe that this is what should take place this is my recommendation and it's not always that simple but I think that's a good general overview of what a jail is and what their role might be in a case